find myself always drawn to his image in a way that no other person has given me such sort of inspiration. There's something about him that was fluid and iconic that I've, that's brought me back and made me interested in him. And he came from America to London and he arrived in kind of colour in a way where things were black and white. I love the sonic qualities of Jimi Hendrix. I always loved that. I love the beauty and the distortion. I do enjoy the process of doing something that's very time consuming. So I have to trust my instinct that it's going to work. I started twisting the paper into cones and it seemed that that idea might work. This is a maquette for a larger piece to be reworked. I like how I'm trying to create a different form using paper that up close is a thing of beauty and maybe some kind of chaos. And then when you walk away from it, when you pull back from it, you see an image forming. I like the fact I'm using paper in a pure way and I'm just thinking about colour and tonal qualities. And then light plays a really important part because it's how the paper reflects and, and soaks in the available light. It's given me a new kind of language to play with through using key colour paper. It's a process that I hadn't used before and it's new for me and it's exciting for me.